9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engines full power, and lift off of Starlink 2-4, go Falcon, go Starlink. Engines full power, lift off, go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is not. At T plus 30 seconds, successful liftoff of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg. 7.43 a.m. Pacific time. We had some fantastic views from the ground, and now we're looking at a great view Nominal from power the telemetry. first stage's onboard camera as we pop through the cloud layer. Vehicle is supersonic. Now we're traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there we are through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's the highest stresses that we'll feel during the flight. Now we are about one minute away from several events back to back. The first of those will be Miko. That's main engine and cutoff. Back engine chill has started followed by a stage separation, and then SES-1 and fairing separation. So Miko is where we shut down all nine of the Merlin engines in preparation for separating the stages at stage sep. And then at second engine start number one, we'll ignite the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Shortly after that, we will separate the fairing halves and return them to planet Earth while the second stage continues with our Starlink satellites to space. In those events, back-to-back, -back, Miko, stage separation, second engine start number one, followed by fairing separation. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Pairing separation confirmed. And with that, we had successful Miko stage separation. You can uh, see the Merlin vacuum is ignited and even saw the f uh, fairing half there in the shot. We're looking at a live view right now on the left-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's first stage. We've deployed the grid fins in preparation for re-entry. On the right-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's second stage. That's a shot of the Merlin vacuum engine. Now, those two fairing halves, we will be attempting to recover them once they come back to planet Earth and use them again. Stage one, entry burn startup. There is successful ignition of those three Merlin engines, this burn lasting about 20 seconds. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Successful shutdown of those Merlin engines. major event on the first stage. Stage one FTS is saved. The landing burn start just after T plus eight minutes.
Stage one transonic. With that, that means the first stage is traveling near the speed of sound. We've got a few events coming up back to back here. First will be the landing burn on the first stage. That burn will continue until the first stage lands. During the landing burn, we'll also hear a call out for second engine cutoff number one, or SECO one, on the second stage. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn started a single Merlin engine on the first stage. We'll expect to see the landing legs deploy shortly. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Back Successful down. landing of Falcon 9's first stage. You also heard a call out there for MVAC shutdown. Now, this landing marks our 166th overall landing of an orbital class rocket that includes both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy Nominal missions. Orbit insertion. With that call out from the guidance team, the second stage is in the nominal or intended orbit. The second stage is carrying our 51 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And with that, 